Welcome back guys, thank you so much for joining me. I've brought you into my kitchen to share with you some of the exercises that I do while I'm cooking. Tonight we've got beans on the fire, someone's requested for some pasta, and because I spend so much time in here, it only makes sense that I use it wisely. So I tend to exercise, get a few movements in depending on how it is that I'm feeling. And it's, sometimes it's breakfast, sometimes it's lunch, but today it's dinner. So initially I wanted to have a sit down conversation with you guys. And it didn't really feel natural to me, so I thought that I'll do a workout and share what it was on my heart to share with you guys. It will be of value to you if you're at a point where you're stuck, feeling stuck in your life, not sure what direction to take. I'm using a personal experience of mine to relay that message to you, so stick around. What I want to share with you guys is how small actions lead to big changes, how intention with corresponding action leads to big changes so let's get into a little background of my story in my early years as a stay-at-home mum i was living the life i'd always envisioned for my family my children were three years old and just under one so two boys and i was thrilled to focus on raising them rather than climbing the corporate ladder this was back in 2013 and this is 2024 and i'm still a stay-at-home mum so do the math the thought of someone else raising and caring for my children never sat well with me, so I left my job to stay home with them. Everything was fine on the home front up until this day I was at home alone. My husband was at work and I was with the boys. And a feeling of discontentment washed over me and I felt lost somehow amid the demands of motherhood, marriage and being keeper of home. Firstly, my appearance did not match the empowered woman I saw in my mind's eye and in the moment I just kind of felt that is this it for me is this all that there is like where do I fit in all of this realizing that I needed a change I decided in that moment that I would do something about it I decided I would work on my appearance and begin by shedding the extra weight I'd gained that very same week I dusted off an old pair of Nike trainers and started running laps around my neighborhood Mind you, I hadn't exercised since leaving school, that's secondary school. For those listening from America, that's your equivalent of high school. So it wasn't easy, but I was determined to get myself all the way together. This went on for about a month, and then I found out I was pregnant for my third child. So naturally, I slowed down with my fitness activities, but this was a new lifestyle for me now. So I was more focused on self-care, healthy eating, and maintaining my appearance. Interestingly, I learned that fitness has fertility benefits, of course, which made me appreciate this new lifestyle even more. To keep the momentum going, in October 2014, I joined Instagram. I was looking at the inspiring images of black women in fitness, fashion and wellness to, you know, just spur me along this newfound lifestyle. I found no page that resonated with me, so I began reposting images that inspired me on my feed. To my surprise, people started following me. I felt really encouraged to keep sharing because if I needed this, then definitely these other people needed it as well. And it gave me a sense of purpose, you know. Mind you, I'd said that, I'd explained to you earlier on that, you know, I didn't know where I fitted in my role as mother, wife and keeper of home. And this gave me a sense of purpose beyond that. What began as a personal project to inspire myself has grown into a large community we know of today as Afro Girl Fitness and it has attracted the attention of women all over the world from all corners of the continent, celebrities and popular blogs. Afro Girl Fitness without doubt has transformed my life, not just monetarily because you know people's mind tends to go there when we have conversations like this, but more in terms of personal and professional growth. I like where I am now and I'm so glad I'm not where I used to be. Managing this platform has been deeply fulfilling and given me a sense of purpose and has connected me to amazing women, an amazing tribe of ambitious, informed and confident women. Stewarding this platform isn't something that I take for granted. It's really one of the greatest blessings of my life. Looking back at that moment, I made a decisive choice to do something about the way that I felt. It fills me with a renewed sense of inspiration. From that experience, I learned that a desire coupled with corresponding action can lead to outcomes you could never have imagined. 
If you want change, you must first change. You must recognize that you are in the driver's seat of your life. You get to decide. Robert G. Schuller once said, and I love this quote, anyone can count the seeds in an apple, but only God can count the number of apples in a seed. Small actions can lead to significant results. You just take that action. You don't know where it's going to lead you. Do the thing or things that do not guarantee an immediate outcome. And do it often. Repeat it. Be relentless. Keep chasing it. And you will fulfill your goals. If you feel stuck in your life, take one small step within your power to create change. If you want to get in shape, start small. Whether it's a 10 minute walk, eating a vegetable every day or planning meals every Sunday, these small actions can boost your confidence and positively impact other areas of your life. There's something about honoring commitments to yourself and pouring into yourself. It spills over into all other aspects of your life. That confidence radiates and other people see it. It's like you're creating your own luck. Good things come to people who are happier, more confident, and it all starts with small actions. Similarly, when it comes to your finances, taking small steps can lead to significant outcomes. Start by saving a small amount each month or cutting down on unnecessary expenses. The power of compound interest demonstrates how these small, consistent actions can grow exponentially over time. By investing wisely and consistently, your money can grow, providing financial security and freedom. I've grown to appreciate physics more now as an adult than when I was in school. The laws of physics are applicable to human life. Take, for example, Newton's first law of inertia, which states that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an external force. In a nutshell, what this is saying is that personal change requires action. Nothing changes unless you change. So the key is to start small, start with a small step and you'll find momentum building in ways you never expected. Small actions, whether in fitness, self-care or your finances can lead to significant life-changing results. I hope you were able to get something from this video and if you did I would love to read from you down in the comments below and while you're there don't forget to subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video but for now take care and stay blessed